Uh, so I found this spot, I uh, saw the moon just kind of rising over the hills and thought I'd stop here and, and give this composition a, a go first with the new X-T5. waiting for the clouds to come on over um, and uh, and just kind of just kind of sideline that mood a little bit uh, moon a little bit just so I can uh, add a little bit more to, to the composition so let's uh, see what I'm doing sorry for the rush start okay so as you can see on the uh, back of the camera there we've got the moon in the top section a little bit of the hillside in the bottom using the uh, 150 to 600 uh, so I've got this out today uh, with the new camera on the front there and you see I've taped over the uh, the, the logo but that's the uh, the new X-T5 so got to be uh, quiet because it is before the embargo date um, but that's the the camera we'll be using in today's video to uh, ensure that there's no tripod shake because obviously quite a long lens here uh, we've just got the uh, the self timer on uh, so just for uh, a couple of seconds just to make sure that the camera and the lens is able to rest uh, and stop moving uh, before uh, uh, it, it takes a shot so there's none of that camera shake and we get the, the most out of the, uh, the, the camera, I guess. And one of the best things about shooting with the, uh, the new X-T5 is you usually have to be extremely careful about, um, you know, where we go with new pre-production cameras. Uh, whereas because this looks so much like an X-T3, because it's got the the tilt screen rather than the fully articulating screen of the X-T4. I can just tape up the X-T5, walk around like any other camera because I very, very, very highly doubt that anybody's going to stop me and go, ooh, that doesn't look quite like an X-T3 and question me on it. So, um, yeah, given that it's uh, it's uh, not too different than the, uh, than the T3, it just makes my life a hell of a lot easier. So I'm absolutely loving the uh, going back to the tilt screen. It's just so much easier for landscapes. It's just all at your fingertips. Alrighty, and hopefully you can see that there. Um, as you can see, quite um, quite punched in, quite quite hard there, um, and it doesn't look so exciting now. But what I was doing is just um, um, taking a shot, moving it across, taking it a shot moving across and kind of taking a shot and, and it was working all the way back kind of through this ridge line here um, and what I was finding is um, there was this really nice spot of light and if I bring up my the shots I've just been taking you can see it there so if you can check that out there just that beautiful little ray of light in between the two peaks there I was able just to catch that and as a panorama, which is beautiful, because this is a 40 megapixel sensor, so um, if you think of that, I think I end up taking about four or five shots. Um, so I'm gonna be able to stitch those together, and that'll make an extremely nice large print. You might have already noticed the uh, the lack of stuff on the uh, the bottom plate here, obviously the battery door tripod uh, mount there, uh, but no connections for a, a grip. So uh, obviously a lot of people's rumors kind of confirmed there won't be a grip for the, uh, the X-T5, which will be uh, good for some people because it has reduced in size and weight uh, quite a lot, like the X-T3 kind of size, uh, so down from the X-T4. Um, but for uh, a lot of people, didn't need the grip. Some people might be slightly disappointed, but um, I'm really liking the size and weight uh, decrease from the, the, the T4. So, uh, and then we've got the X-H2 and the X-H2S for, uh, for, for the grips. And you've got two grip options for, for the H, uh, X-H series. So uh, yeah, just something to point out there. No grip. Just segregating a little part of the mountains here. And I've got the uh, 150 to 600 on again at about 250 mil. Uh, shooting at f8 at 1 50th of a second so as you can see there just targeting that there right in the background a 
funny, this is not the way that I was expecting to uh, announce my second surprise for the day. I've got a new lens that I'm testing out along with the T5, uh, which is the uh, the 30 mil macro. It's a one to one option. Uh, now I've only got the eight to 16 and the 5140 on it, something just in between to get a little bit wider, uh, but not as wide as the eight to 16. So I'm actually using this uh, as a landscape option this morning. So, uh, you know, check this out. It's a pretty exciting camera, it always is when we get a new XT line uh, of, uh, of, of cameras because it's uh, it's just, I guess, the, the lifeblood of, you know, Fujifilm's ethos about, you know, small, lightweight, tactile, um, you know, buttons and design. So we'll get into it a little bit more and I'll have it for uh, um, um, a good amount of time. So this won't be the only video that I do on it. Uh, so please follow along and um, we'll try and touch on something different in each video. Alrighty, I was just about to finish up the video, but uh, I've uh, managed to find a, a spot, a nice kind of waterfall, um, not one that I've seen before. I've kind of driven past that you can hear it as you, as you drive, but I haven't actually seen it, so I thought I'd stop. I'm trying to find new spots for my next video, but I just decided that it's such a great opportunity and I'd uh, just pop it into this one. So uh, uh, I'm just gonna head down this steep hillside here and I might have to take a uh, stop vlogging because it is quite dangerous. Um, and um, I'll see you at the, uh, at the bottom. Alrighty, so in order to, to get the shot, and I hope you can hear me over the water, I'm gonna have to take the X-T5 uh, here. And um, very, very awkwardly, I'm gonna have to climb up onto here and set myself over the other side. So I'm gonna have to use the tripod I used for vlogging, the little uh, jobby tripod. Um, so I can just sit it up on top of here so I can look down into this uh, crevasse here. So um, it'll look something as awkward as this. <laughs> so that's kind of where I'll be. And I'm just gonna have to position myself here until I get the shots. Um, and then I can hopefully <laughs> navigate my way down unscathed and uh, hopefully it'll all be worth it and we'll get a nice shot of the, uh, the waterfall. So let's get up there, give it a go and uh, you'll see what that shot looks like in just a moment. Alrighty, uh, as always, Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. I uh, had a great morning. I uh, got some great shots of the moon, uh, some beautiful peak shots, uh, all using the new uh, X-T5. And it's been a joy to use this. It's such a small, lightweight, nimble type camera. And if you want to learn more about this camera and the, more so the usability of it, you know, I'll touch on specs as I go. Um, but I really want to focus on as a photographer, um, you know, how do I find using this out in the field, the image quality, all the important things. If you want to know specs, um, and there'll be a million uh, other reviews around around that. So um, if you do want to learn more about this camera, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, there will be more uh, videos coming out about the X-T5 um, over, the, over the coming weeks. Um, so please uh, stay tuned. And as always, I'll uh, see you next time. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, God.